Hey everyone, this is Ginny from Homestead Corner and today we're canning up some milk because we need to get some back in the pantry. So before we get too excited about this, um, I know this is not USDA recommended to do. I know people get very upset about that, but this is what I do to help my family get through. And I, right now it is hard to get, it's a limited supply of milk. You can only buy one or two at most of the stores around here. Um, of dairy products they're being very particular about how many you get so when I'm cooking I like to save our fresh milk for cereal or if the kids want to drink it or whatever but if I want to cook this canned milk is perfect for that um, I can have it on the shelf and if I don't have enough uh, you know I can save that fresh milk for the kids when they want it and I like to cook with whole milk and you know sometimes I cook with low fat depending on what I have in the house but right now where times are just everything is so messed up during this pandemic that um, some places you can't get milk and other places they have too much milk so we have some of our dairy is limited here so I just want to make sure we have plenty for cooking on the shelf and I've done a lot of research on this and this works for us this is how we do it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so this is really simple to do you just want to make sure your jars are nice and super clean um, I sterilized these jars but I wanted them to get back down to room temperature because the milk is cold and I'm not gonna heat my milk up for this so we are we want everything at room temperature I have my lids in hot water over here but this is the only thing that I have hot uh, the water in the canner is also room temperature cold um, it's not it's not hot at all I, I want everything to heat up evenly together so we're gonna keep everything cold until we put it in the canner and turn it on okay so we're just gonna start by filling up our jars um, I like to do this in quarts. You can do it in pints um, or whatever size you want to do it in. Um, but I like to do it in quarts because that is about the right amount. Some of my recipes call for a whole quart, so we just do that. Like when you're making pudding, this is wonderful for pudding and all kinds of cooking and things like that. And we're just going to fill these up to one inch head space right here where the big rim is we're just going to fill them to there and I am going to just do seven quarts today because that's how much fits in my canner okay so now that we have all our jars full there's a little bit of milk on the rims and because this is a whole milk and it's got fat in it so I definitely like to use um, just a white vinegar to wipe my rims with because I want to make sure I get a really good seal so um, I always use white vinegar for anything with fats uh, meats anything that's got fat in it you definitely want to make sure that is super clean your rim and it's always good to double check to make sure you don't have any cracks or nicks up here in your rim because then you won't get a seal with that either so I always like to double check that just give them all a nice wipe make sure they're all super duper clean because after all your work can and you definitely don't want to have seals fail and have lose what you did 
if you do have a seal fail, you can just put this in the in the refrigerator and use it right away. You really don't want to reprocess this because it does alter the taste a tiny bit and it's not quite the same as fresh milk. So um, the more you cook it, the more it's going to change the flavor. So then we're just going to add our lids right to the top and a ring. And we're going to get all of these little darlings. Ooh, these are still warm. Nice and warm. We're going to get them all ready to go in the canner. And you just want these to be finger tight. You don't want to over tighten these because if you over tighten your rings, you can buckle your lids. They'll buckle in the pressure canner. These aren't going to can for a long time, so they probably won't. But I don't, I never over tighten the lids, the rings. I call them all lids. <laughs> but just finger tight is all you need, and they will, they will do their thing in the canner. There, so those are ready. We're going to start loading these into the canner. Okay, so everything is cold right now. So the water's cold, the canner's cold, the milk in the jar is cold, the jars feel cold from the milk. Everything is cold. So I just put all seven of my quarts right in here in the canner just like so and then I'm going to turn my heat on to high and put my lid on the canner <clears throat> and just lock everything down and this is going once we get it up And now we're just going to, well, the, we got this on high, and we're going to let it get nice and hot. And when steam is coming out of here for 10 minutes, I'm going to put my 10 pounds of pressure on. Okay, so we're getting a good steady stream out of our vent pipe. And we've been getting that for about 10 minutes, so I'm going to add my 10 pounds of pressure. And we're going to bring this up to 10 pounds. And... Get that little baby jiggling. Okay, so we have got our canner up to 10 pounds of pressure. We got a good jiggle going. I'm gonna turn this off right now um, and just let this come down all on its own and get nice and cool. Okay, so once my canner came completely down to zero and all the pressure was gone from the canner, then I removed my jars and I just put them on the counter. And I'm gonna let these sit here for overnight until tomorrow morning and then I will clean them all up, take the rings off, get them labeled and put them into the pantry. They'll be ready to go. I'm not sure if you can see right here near the top, there is, you can see a little bit of the fat separating and that's okay, I'm gonna shake this up before I use it, make sure everything is mixed together really well and this will last a good long time in the pantry. I usually don't do more than I'm gonna use in about six months, eight months. Uh, some people say it can last for a couple of years in there. So um, we usually don't do more than we can use up in six to eight months. So uh, that is it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.